Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to another Cajun Toy Review and today we're looking at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series The Bat or The Battle Android Trooper and man this is my childhood right here. I grew up uh, Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joe was the biggest things for me as toys growing up. Uh, He-Man, Transformers, uh, Thundercats and all that stuff like that was second behind that but yeah it was all about G.I. Joe and trans uh, Ninja Turtles. And uh, man, when the bats came out, I clearly remember seeing one on the playground. Some kid had a bat, uh, a bat, and it was the coolest thing ever. These really awesome cyborg android troopers, whatever they have, two different things. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, it was just a really cool figure and stuff. And I really wanted one. Uh, I got one later. Never even had the conception of a figure, uh, army building and stuff like that as a kid. Uh, but man, now I really want to with these guys and they look so cool and it's really really awesome to have that nostalgia plus that all new flair so let's get into it let's talk about this bat so yeah i found this guy actually uh at a walgreens of all places i uh, didn't see any in the target um and i didn't get them on hasbro uh poles so has uh but yeah walgreens of all places uh, i found my alley viper and my bat and man, this box looks insanely awesome, man. Look at this art on this bat. Look at that. The battle damage. We can see the eye underneath there. And of course, we got a head in there that matches that look. On the side, we got this crazy looking picture of a bat that is cool. I would wear that shirt. Um, G.I. Joe Classified B.A.T. Bat Battle Android Trooper. With tons of accessories in there. Very excited to open this guy up. Number 33 in the line, Cobra. And on the side, we got some stats for it. You got to go to the G.I. Joe website to see what these are. But yeah, uh, we got a uh, world renowned, I guess, uh, sparkler handling and uh, fisticuffs. Yeah, that's a very important one. And ooh, yeah, castle building. OK, so all right. On the back, we have a shot of a bunch of the figures. And uh, this is the older poster or artwork. Uh, where we saw the bats and the alley vipers and we wanted them for a long time but now they're here and this has been updated with some of the new figures you can see on the bottom and uh, that's it man nothing else to talk about let's open this up and check out our bat all right so we have our battle android trooper bat out of the box on the turntable and what do i think about this guy i figure I think it's awesome, man. I really dig it. Uh, that color scheme, man, it just brings me back. It looks awesome. Any figure, y'all probably know that you can uh, put the accessories on him and make him hold it. Uh, gets extra points for me, and you can pretty much put everything on this guy minus the extra head and the battle damage, uh, which is interchangeable. So at the, you basically can have everything on there. But man, look at this, man. Looks so great. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, my, if you haven't got one, you probably do by now. But if you're on the fence about it, if you're on the fence about the classified line, guys, I highly recommend it. I think this is great, and this is a perfect representation of taking a classic figure and bringing a modern and making it awesome. So let's get them off the turntable and take a look at the accessories that the bat comes with, and then look at the figure himself. And as you can see, your Battle Android Trooper does come with quite a bit of accessories. We have two heads. We have three interchangeable hand arm pieces, uh, whatever you want. The two chest pieces, a sidearm pistol, and then the backpack. Uh, and yeah, the way, uh, let's take a look at the heads. So we have the basic standard Battle Android Trooper head looking sweet. Uh, love that chrome. It's kind of similar to what Cobra Commander's helmet is based off of. And I think that's the look they were going for. I could be wrong, but this just looks really awesome. It's like a futuristic knight. And I uh, love the kind of gray vents on the back of it. It looks awesome. You can see rivets and stuff in there. That just looks so sweet. And uh, yeah, there are other versions of the bats. Uh, they have come out with different color schemes of like that, but man, you got to love that classic black and silver Just night looking stuff and then bring up the battle damage one same helmet But of course damage so now we have a cracked visor We can see that blue eye inside there looking crazy And then this is all cracked open and we can see the metal chrome dome in there and that just looks really cool a nice comparison of the two That is really awesome and then the chest plate. So on the bat, you have this kind of open circuitry right there. Uh, we can see his router and, you know, his uh, condensator and his, you know, evaporator core right there. And then yeah, there's the uh, spark plugs or whatever. But you have these little chest plates. So if you want to hide this very sensitive damaging spot, you just clip this on and it just clicks in a nice satisfying click. And then when quick kick roundhouses this off, 
it exposes the damage core well actually no you get the battle damage version of that and you clip that on there and yeah so now it's it's almost there just one more hit and the boss will be exposed so really cool uh, I don't think I'll have these on there. I kind of like the old classic look like that because that's how the old figure looked. But it is nice to have that option. And especially if you're going to army build these guys, you can kind of line them different ways. So yeah, you can have uh, your frontline guy who's going to be all smashed up. And then you're going to have your clean and neat guy in the back. But uh, especially if they give us different color bats, which we already seen that is going to be the case. But um, yeah, I'm going to slap on the head now. So there. All right, so then we got this sidearm pistol. It looks really nice. It's got either like a light on the bottom or something like that. Uh, you know, I'm not a gun guy, so we're not going to pretend I know, but this looks really cool. And of course, it can be holstered in the side like so. And hey, again, love that kind of stuff. It looks great on there. And then we have these interchangeable hands weapons so we have this um laser cannon drill they didn't say specifically what these are but uh we're gonna have fun and imagine it this is um a fluoride cannon or a laser gun whatever you like and you can just pop off the bat's hand and just pour that in there like that or like so and there we go you don't want any of that you don't so that's one option. Then we have this is obvious because there's a pilot there, and then we got our vent right there. This is Cobra the flamethrower. And man, I want to wish I had a flame effect. I could just pour it into there real quick. Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't have one on hand. Shame. But I have a blaster effect. Let's see if that'll fit in there. Nope. It's too big. Story of my life. But yeah, this looks really cool. Do like it a lot. And let's go ahead and port this one on as well. And take a look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks sweet. Love that. All right. So last, we got this grabber claw. You got to have a grabber claw. This is really cool. This is good for getting off the rims off of one of the Cobra his tanks. They don't have his tanks. They have threads, you idiot. But yeah, the you know, something else. Um, or if another bat is having issues with their chest plate, you can just pop it off with this. But you got to have the grabber. And this looks really cool. Or, you know, you're grabbing a G.I. Joe by the neck. That's another practical use. But looking awesome. So let's go ahead and pop this on the other hand. Just to show you how easy and how it looks. And there we go. We got flamethrower. Look, he's going to heat this up and then grab you with a hot claw. That is the worst possible outcome. But yeah, look at that. And of course, again, if you have multiple bats, you can have multiple configurations. All right. So lastly, let's go ahead and pop these off because we need them for our last demonstration is this backpack. And this looks really cool. It's got some gears and stuff on there. So this does something. I don't know. It's got... Maybe it charges the battery for him where he goes. But we can see there is some portholes in there. One, two. But wait a second. There's three accessories. Oh, there's a third one. So, and then these look like exhaust or, or nunchucks. But either way. And just port that in there. Port the flamethrower in there. And there's no particular order or right way. But this is just a, just a suggestion. And then we part the claw in there. And look at that, that looks really, really awesome. And then we get our bat, and we get his back, and we get this peg hole, and we port that in there like so. And that looks sick. So yeah, looking awesome. Lots of cool accessories for our bat. And let's talk about them. All right, so lastly, talking about the bat himself. This is a dope figure, guys. I 
been gushing about this guy and for good reasons i think he's amazing uh the detail on this figure and the accessories he comes with it is totally worth the value and the price of it so yeah looking at it let's see we've already looked at the head a little bit but the detail of course we got this chest piece exposed with all there but we got some grenades here uh, really cool detail on the belt with the clips there got the cobra symbol in there just in case you forgot uh but yeah there's a really nice texture on this uniform kind of cloth going and going and going on around there on the back we can see uh this metal kind of connection and some other stuff there uh the yellow kind of goes around and that nice silver collar you can see like that metal neck oh look at that uh belts with some little pouch right there looking nice a little silver buckle that also looks good uh, I do like this holster coming down, wrapping around the leg, and again, another silver buckle. That looks great. Uh, right here, we have another pouch and stuff right there, and that has some extra AA batteries for the bat. Um, and then, of course, look at these boots, man. These killer boots. You got some chrome on there with some chrome tops, and look at the grips on there. This is, oh, they even got little pouches on here. That's really cool. Both sides, very practical. Uh, peg holes on there knee pads and then of course yeah just great figure overall uh love the circuitry this metal kind of gear works on here all these little pistons and stuff going on on the arms it comes down from the sleeves i wish i had an older bat to compare them with but i don't really have any of with joe's anymore uh but man this this just is taking me back so um yeah get it guys let's take a look at the articulation of our bat so he can look up a little bit good, not bad, not more than I thought actually. Down, good, quite good. Uh, a little bit pivot, full rotation. And the heads are the same shape, same size, so that doesn't matter on there. Full arm rotation. We do have bicep swivel, single jointed elbows. But man, you get a metal elbow to the face and you're done, Duke. You're done. The forearms will seem a little long, but they work for what they are. He's not a human, so no complaints there. Wrist flex and rotation on the hands, not on the weapons. Ab crunch. Yeah, about that much. Back. Oh, that's too bad. And you're going to bend some wires doing that. I'm going to pick these arms up and we're going to do a split here, guys. All right, so we're going to split about... Holy moly. I didn't think we were going to get half of that, but this holster slid down. You saw that? this moved and this moved and look at what we've got here that is a quite a good spit split on this bat yeah, and there's a thigh cut in there all right you can put your arms down double jointed knees am i a liar is a double jointed knee is there yeah double jointed knees this one's just a little stiff boot cut hinge at the ankle and peg holes on the bottom of them big old feet man i need like five of these guys so what do i think about the bat guys i think this bat is awesome i love it i highly recommend it sculpt perfect five out of five accessories perfect five out of five just overall fun and appeal to me five out of five man this is a perfect figure like i said i need five out of five of these guys so yeah i'm going to keep an eye out and hopefully find some on some of these hunts and uh add them to the collection but i recommend it i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed this figure if you did please leave a like drop a comment check out our other content if you haven't already please consider subscribing uh at this time of this video we are so close to 500 you guys i am smiling from ear to ear uh you might be able to hear it in my voice i am super excited about uh things to come and what we're doing here and uh i thank you all for your support and uh everything love you guys see you in the next video take care of yourselves